Did you read about that girl from Sweden? It's from Sweden, maybe, who got on the airplane with the guy who was oh, being sent to Afghanistan. I did read that this morning. I have never been more. I had the guy was being deported, and deported. she wouldn't she, sit down. She knew when he gets back, he's going to die. He's going to be murdered, this guy. That was her attitude. What is, what is this stuff? Because I only read the headline of it. Well, I, read I didn't the whole read thing. the whole story. So she's on the plane, specifically bought a ticket, knowing that he's being deported. So she did it on purpose. She's an activist. She's an activist, but I don't know what she's done in the past. All I know is she refused to sit down, and it, at a certain point, there was a soccer team on the flight, stood up with her. There were other people who said, we back you, but there so, were also a lot of pieces of shit. Sit down, you're making us late. Someone's going to die and look at her putting herself on the line. And then she was a she and the guy who was being deported were finally escorted off the plane because she did her research. And her research told her that the captain can have them both taken off the plane and take off anytime he so wants. So the the story was that he was being deported because of ice? Is that I, what it was? I, I see I did I only read the see one. See if you story. can find it, Jamie. So, uh, but he, they were deporting him yes. and then he was going to get sent back to Afghanistan yes. where he was going to be killed. Yes. <sighs> we live in a weird time when we it comes do, to we, this. We you live know, in a weird time. There but, was a, a, start, a story to... I was reading about some woman who was d devastated because her, um, her daughter-in-law was being deported and she was a Trump supporter and her daughter-in-law was being, she'd been in the uh, United States uh, her whole life. And uh, b being deported, and you know, just couldn't couldn't believe it. Couldn't you know, came over here as an infant, that kind of thing. The, the, when you're an illegal alien, that no one gives a fuck if you've been here for 30 years. You only been alive for 32. They don't get it. You, you no. get sent back, and that's that's a disgrace. It really is a disgrace. No, it's a horrible it's a horrible thing. And, and so, people are like, well, why don't you fucking try to get your citizenship? this young girl, young girl, b believing so strongly that she bought a ticket, got on the plane. And then wouldn't sit down. But what happens wow. now, though? What if the guy still gets sent back and well, he still gets said, killed? But she still yeah, she, 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 she did she, something. She did something. And maybe he won't. Yeah. You don't know. <sighs> but that's more than just her putting on her Twitter account. This is not right. right. People being deported. This is someone actually doing something. Yeah. It's hard doing to do. something that doesn't injure somebody else. And it can inconveniences people, but nothing more than that. What if you had a layover, though? You had a big gig. What if I had a layover? Yeah, it was a huge I, I'm, I'm on her side. Oh, come on, I know man. that from the get-go. What get if you had a sold-out no, crowd? No, I don't care. Filming a Netflix special? No. Are tough. you going to film a special? I am. Next next spring. Uh, so when you do After that, After I'm done with the Goldbergs and Curb, I'm going to do a Netflix special. So a year from now, essentially, somewhere in the range. What is it? Yeah, no. It's summer. Oh, uh, less than a year less from now. Year.